Mike, I saw the uh, by the score. Like yeah. it or not, uh, the Buffalo Bills triplets, quarterback, wide receiver, top running back, ranked 30th out of 32 teams in the NFL. That's about where they belong now, right? I mean, your quarterback still needs a ton to prove. They don't really have anybody that would be considered a number one wide receiver. And McCoy's on the downside of his career. Now, it could look a lot different six or eight games into this season if Allen really takes that step. But I don't know. You want to be optimistic and make them 25th? Like, I don't know if you can put them up much higher than that. for something, though. What, what, what? What does it count for? I mean, well, I, I mean the fact that, I mean, these are your dynamic playmakers. If you've got the 30th best in the well, league. Well, this is what is being said now because they haven't really done it and they haven't done it for a full season. Find me another team where LaShawn McCoy is your starting running back. If you can find me that in the NFL, you can justify bumping them up from 30 to 25. But, but McCoy, as far as those rankings are concerned, is probably what keeps him from being 32. Which is what's crazy about it. Right. right? And I think, you think he's I, done. Like, are you that down on McCoy? Yeah, I am. I mean, I don't mean to be a jerk about it. He's had a hell of a career, but like, again, it's a replaceable position that they're spending a lot of money for. He's on the downside of thirty. Last season was not great. I don't know, Mike. You've seen no, him I'm, longer I'm, than I have. I'm saying this. It would be it would be great if for them if he's better than that. I think most of the people ranking that certainly are ranking certainly wide receiver and absolutely quarterback lower coming into this year, because we don't really know what you're going to get. He doesn't have a track record. Josh Allen doesn't have a track record. He's got half a season of pretty decent football, but he's not the guy. He's not Mahomes. He's not where everybody's expecting, you know, 40-plus touchdowns this year.